everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another book review for you guys, and today I'm going to be doing my review of one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year, and that book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I read this uh, starting back in December of last year, and I finished it in January, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I really, 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 really enjoyed this. <laughs> I must have on really enjoyed um, like I said, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It's one of the most popular uh, and well-known books here on BookTube, and that was what motivated me to pick it up. I also have heard really good things about the TV show, so that's kind of another reason why I picked it up. Um, so, if you guys are not familiar with this story and what it's about, it follows our main character, Claire Randall, and she is on a second honeymoon with her husband, Frank. And this is directly after World War II, which she was a nurse um, as part of World War II. And while they're on the second honeymoon, she is forced back into time into 1743, into uh, 1743 Scotland. And Scotland at this time is in a war, and it's in the wartime, and there she meets a young lad, and his name is Jamie Fraser. <laughs> and pretty much they form a romance. It's kind of a forced romance. I will be um, talking about some other little things you guys might want to know if you want to read this book in a minute. Um, they form a romance, and over time, they try to go on these adventures to kind of get uh, Clara back into our time. Now, this is an adult fiction novel, so there is a lot of um, stuff that if you guys are not over the age of 18, I would not recommend reading this book just yet. Um, but I, again, really enjoyed this. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, like I said, for like the third time in this video. <laughs> it was just... I don't really read a lot of historical fiction, I will be honest, but this is definitely one of the best ones I've ever read so far. Um, and I just, oh, this story is just so, like, power, like, Scotland is a place I've always wanted to visit since I was a kid. I just have been fascinated with Scotland for 10, 15 years now, and I've never gotten the chance to go to England or Scotland or Ireland or anywhere in the UK and uh, this book made me want to go even more than I already had when I read it. Now I just love the setting again because I love Scotland um, so I really like that. I wasn't a big fan of the war obviously because that, that didn't play a huge part in the story but it played a pretty big part um, once Claire was put back into time to the period uh, but that was really the only thing I didn't like about the setting, but that's kind of obvious. I loved Claire as our main character. I thought reading from her perspective was really fun. She has this really spooky attitude that I loved, and I just loved her as a character. I also loved Jamie. Can we just talk about Jamie? Uh, yeah, I loved Jamie. Uh, he was just one of those uh, fictional characters that is so easy to fall in love with if you really enjoyed the story. Um, in which that person is a part of. He was just, oh, he was perfect. I loved him. Um, I really wish we had read from his perspective at some points. I heard there is a novella collection that came out, I think, last year. I'm not quite sure. That or is told from his perspective that takes place before Outlander takes place, but I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, but he was a great character, Claire was a great character, all the side characters were even great too. I just, I loved every single character in this book. The plot was one of those plots that at some points would keep me on the edge of my seat, at some points I was like, just, I couldn't put the book down. Um, at some points I found it kind of confusing because there was so much going on. Um, but still, fantastic plot. Don't really have any complaints about it, except it was confusing with everything that was going on at the time. Um, the only couple of things I can really think of, and this goes back to the, it being an adult fiction novel, is there is al aspects of rape in this book, and that is a big part of why uh, I would re recommend this if you are only over the age of 18. Um, rape kind of, it kind of plays a big part in the story, and it's one it doesn't really take a big role until we get towards the middle and the end of the story. Um, but there is, besides the rape aspects, there is some more sexual content in this book, but, um, which I don't really, again, I don't really read a lot of adult fiction. Um, I mostly stick to YA. However, this, I, so that's probably why I wasn't so used to it, but I, at po some points I didn't really care. I kind of got over it after a while, but, 
Um, pretty much that's the only complaint I have about this book, and that's why it's not a 5 out of 5 stars. Like, I wish I could have given this a 5 out of 5 stars. But overall, fantastic book. If you guys have not picked this up, please go do. And I'm definitely going to continue on with the series. I know there's like seven other books in the series, so I should probably get on this that uh, board to get, finish the series and then watch the TV show because... Again, I've heard fantastic things about the TV show as well. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. If you guys have read Outlander, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to hear them. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see more from me. If you guys would like to see behind-the-scenes action at my reading live, please follow me on all my social media links are down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Good reason my username on all of them is at the evil queen books i would love to have you as a friend and i will see you guys on friday for another video i hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you then thanks for watching everybody bye